up everybody, it's Jester and welcome back to a new video. I've been hyping up this James Harden Invitational event for about a week now, and I was hyping up the 1v1 versus me and my roommate Christopher London, the 6'10 giraffe, but the event went a bit differently than I was told how it would go. Starting it up, the venue where it was being held was absolutely ridiculous. Big stage, everything was around it. You know, I wasn't that nervous for this going into it, but then when I saw the venue, my nervousness just skyrocketed. I was like, holy shit, this is big. Warming up, this is just a fact. First play against Chris. We were all just shooting around and all of a sudden a basketball came flying. I'm looking up and it hits me straight in the nuts. Dude, it hurt so bad. I honestly thought I wasn't going to be able to play. It was bad. I think this was all planned by Chris? I think there was some planning. There's definitely planning going on. That's not even a question. Because I'm, I'm wounded. Like, I'm not hurt. I'm wounded. Big shout out to everyone who came and showed some support. Deji was in the building. I asked him to give me good luck. He gave me good luck. He wanted me to beat Chris. And then me and the boys had a little, you know, dunk off. Can I dunk? <laughs> yes. Yes. Himself was there, Brian Scalabrini. You know me, you know I made a song about this dude. I've made videos about this dude. I'm a huge fan. Living legend, White Mamba, he was in the building. It was James Harden's event. He got there, he was a bit late. <laughs> But that's what everything kicked off. First, they did a bunch of three-on-threes, which I was not a part of. I need to do a bit of explaining before we watch this. So, the tournament was meant to be me versus Chris one-on-one, -on -one, and then Kick Genius versus Cash Nast. But since Kick Genius is two-on-two, -two, they played two-on-two -two versus Cash and Malcolm. And then, the day of, they told us, me and Chris, we're gonna play two-on-two -two versus the winner of that, but we were still gonna have our one-on-one. -on -one. I told everyone that the one-on-one -on -one was going down, and then this is what actually happened. All right, so the one-on-one -on -one started, you know, I tried being physical with Chris. This court had a lot of dead spots on it, so it was really hard to dribble. So I was just trying to be physical. The rest, you know, weren't really calling too much. Forced a bad shot. And then my game plan to beat Chris was to shoot a lot of threes. But right there, I was way too slow. I was a little nervous. And he, he blocked me, obviously. And then right here, Chris just drives in. It's hard to stop his drive. He gets the layup to go. Harden's watching this 1v1. Look, he was kind of like, why is he playing one-on-one? -on -one? It was the vibe he was giving. But look, I hit this side step three on Chris. That's my signature shot. But after that... Harden pretty much like went up to someone and was like, I don't want to see this kid playing. So I got clout rejected by James Harden. And the one-on-one -on -one literally got cut short after what, a minute and a half? After like, I've been hyping it up because James Harden just wasn't about it. I'm just not good enough for him. So I got clout rejected. They got like some crazy guy to play Chris. So Cash actually lost to Kick Genius. We were doing Kick Genius versus me and Chris 2v2. This is for the championship, ladies and gentlemen. Starting off this game, I wanted to be aggressive and I wanted to be physical. I got the handoff, did a spin move on Jay Jones and actually got the layup. Going against Jay Jones is a good matchup for me because I'm, a, I'm obviously taller than him. I probably weigh more. He is stronger than me, but I could use my body. Great pass by me there. Unfortunately, Chris missed it. It was really hard to dribble on the court because of the dead spots. You can see he was losing it. Passes it to Trey, who wasn't really hitting his shots too well. He missed the shot. I tried to set a little screen for Chris. I thought he would hop the three. I have the ball at the free throw line. I'm scoring up Jay Jones. I drive in and I just lose it. Falling to the floor is like my signature when I play basketball. Not a good start. Chris is trying to put the moves on Trey. Trey is a really good defender. He actually gets the ball loose, dives for it, and gets it. And right here, he throws it in between my legs to Jay Jones who just goes in for the layup. I was guarding Jay, and I know he has a really good mid-range pull-up, and he has a good drive. So those are the two things I was watching for. I knew he wasn't going to shoot too many threes. Right here, I'm guarding Jay. He drives in, finds Trey wide open for the three. It's actually a two. He misses, and he gets his own rebound. And dude, I was lazy. He found Jay Jones wide open for the mid-range. They were killing us in the first half. I'm guarding Jay Jones right here. He drives on me, hits me with a nasty step back, hitting it, making it eight to two. It was getting bad. This is still the first half. Trey's on Chris. He decides to pull up right here. I'm boxing out Jay Jones, grab the rebound, and I was like, all right, bro, eight to two, I gotta score. So I tried using my body. I pushed Jay Jones back. Little replay. As, like I pushed it with my body. He went flying a little bit, and then I missed the shot, bro. Come on, I need to make that. Trey got the ball after that, and I was like, you know what? I really want the ball back. I tried getting the steal, and he just crossed me. That was a nice move and hit the layup. Trey passes over to Jay. Jay with the nice pump fake gets Chris to bite, and he gets the layup, bro. It was looking bad. The half's going to an end right here. Trey wasn't making any shots, so we were kind of letting him have it. And then I got the rebound. 
three, two, one. Missed for the buzzer. Ah. Oh. Unfortunately, he missed it. The hats were six minutes long. It was bad. It was 10 to 2. Me and Chris talked out at halftime. Chris was like, bro, Jesse, I want you to take a step back. Three. You're good at those. He told me to do that. And then we were like, yo, let's run some pick and rolls, bro. We're better than this. We're gonna come back. We were telling each other, like, bro, we got this. We're gonna win. We're gonna come back. First play, we ran our pick and roll, which is pretty good. I rolled on Trey. It actually worked perfectly. I missed the layup. But guys, I got it back, put it up with my left hand, and made it. Right after that, I gave it to Chris. Chris gave it back to me. Give me a, give me a base shot. On Trey. One more. Let's get it for boom! We're coming back! Just like that, 7 to 10. The momentum was on our side. I set Chris a nice pick, and then he did a spin move on Jay. Got wide open and went for the dunk. And bro, we have all the momentum on our side. The crowd was on our side at this point. The comeback was on. It was a one-point game. I got the ball in the post on Trey. And then I see I decided to drive in kind of and right here my arm gets slapped pretty hard It's a foul the rest didn't call it the rest they were kind of just standing there They didn't do many calls and at that point in the game like it was like obvious the ref was literally standing right next to me I was like bro if they're not gonna call anything Why should I not be extremely physical and play a little bit dirty? So after that moment in the game, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do me. I'm gonna play a little more dirty. Just foul. Be super physical. Cause dude, if the ref's not gonna call anything, why would I not? We got four minutes left to go. We are down by one point. Quick handoff fake. And then I go in with the spin. Another spin. And one. There we go. I'm too big for Jay Jones. And then we take the lead for the first time in the game. We went on a nine point run. Right here, I decided to post up Jay Jones. Cause I'm decent at the post. Look how long he's grabbing me. And then look how long it takes the refs to call it. I give the ball to Chris. He goes ISO on Trey into the post. This is one of his specialties, the fadeaway. It's so hard to guard Chris's fadeaway. He just hits it easy. Trey is playing good tight defense on Chris right here. Chris loses the ball, but thankfully I was next to him so he could pass it. I see Jay Zones and I'm like, sauce time. Through the legs, then I drive in, try to put my body in him. Almost get the and one. That would have been so good if I got the and one. Kid Genius was not going out easy. Trey just clamped me up, absolutely stole the ball from me. And I fell to the ground as usual. He got the pass to Jay Jones. Jay Jones drives in, kicked it back to Trey. Trey got the layup. It was now a one point game with less than a minute to go. I'm guarding Jay, he hits it to Trey who shoots the jump shot and it's in and out. Thankfully, I get the rebound. I pass the ball to Chris right here. I tried to set a little screen on Trey, but I just slipped it. Chris passed me the ball. And I low-key was trying to time waste, but right here I'm dribbling. Trey goes in for the double team. Really dumb of me. I had my head down. They steal the ball from me. Jay has it. Jay sees the clock. He's isolating it, holding it for the last shot. Guys, I'm just gonna let you watch this. <laughs> two shots that went in and out at the end that they could have made we got so lucky we defeated kick genius ladies and gentlemen we came back they only scored two points in the second half oh i am so happy i got my golden fire extinguisher i'm just gonna hold this for the rest of the video got the fire extinguisher there'd be 12 year olds telling me that they would beat me on the daily but we just got the dub oh this my championship trophy, me and Chris are sharing this bad boy. It was a great experience. Can I get some props on the YouTuber basketball list? Like, put me up a little higher. But yeah, I want to give a big thank you to Adidas for sponsoring the event, sponsoring this video, absolutely hooking it up. It was a great experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to leave everyone's channels in the description. Go check them out. Thank you guys for watching. Me and Chris still have to get that one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe we'll have our own event and we'll do that. We're not sure yet, but that will go down. I want to have an event where we play each other. So I joined Buck Squad today, and peace. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Hold on. I think I need a oh. mic stand. Woo. I need to study how yeah. a mic stand. You know the line up, Jackson, oh. Tyson. That's the type of swagger that yeah. I want I'm when back. I stand. I'm going hard as a hype man. Flow sound like clash of the tight ends. Everything tight and it can't be tight end. Got a full blitz on my mind like a tight end. Get down like a young James Brown. And I'm smooth as a turn was. These niggas gon' learn, don't get too close, but you just